Good morning, folks. The sun is getting a bit testy today. We've had another large earthquake, got a trio of top science news, and a special video from last night. But let's start with our star and find the last 24 hours on the sun with slightly increasing flare activity. It's still in C-class range, but with eruptions around the limb and from the plasma filament gracing the north polar crown. None of those eruptions are aimed at Earth, but we've got more filaments and incoming active regions to watch as the weekend approaches. Hurricane Ian has impacted Florida, and from the high winds to power outages to the storm surge and heavy rainfall, the storm is living up to its billing. Rain bands now stretching up the east coast as the storm is expected to cross into the Atlantic and then make landfall a second time in South Carolina. Hopefully not too much resurgence in strength while it's in the water before the second impact. Big quake shook the southern Atlantic, came in at 6.8 and downgraded to 6.5 complements several on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the northern waters the last couple of days. Speaking of earthquakes, the electric dissipation from those near Lake Bacall are noticeable in the global electric circuit current vertically through the water. They noticed correlations with solar activity as well, which makes for the first observational proof of what has long been suspected, that the global electric circuit currents do run through Earth's hydrological system as well, not just the atmosphere. Up next, anything for NASA not to say plasma in a cosmological sense. The hot supercharged gas halo of the Magellanic Clouds, aka its plasma halo, has finally been discovered, acting as a shield protecting the dwarf pair from losing their star-forming material and keeping them young galactically, so to speak. Last but not least on the article front, a really interesting one on the spread and surges of the virus based on changes in Earth's magnetic field. Several other correlations were noted with solar activity as well, and a look back at how the Spanish flu appears to have followed similar patterns. Indeed, other long-term studies have shown geomagnetic and cosmic radiation forcing of major pandemics, and we're at the point those are possible for COVID as well. Last night, you guys got this video on the Texas rock wall, something buried by a great flood and surge deposit during a previous Earth disaster cycle. Well worth watching if you missed it. Folks, our October 14th event is sold out, leaving only the evening social event on October 13th. Many of you know about Lisa, the sound master, the gongster, and her sound sanctuary in Scottsdale will host a networking event and even sound sessions for observers. Get your tickets at the link listed in the description box below the video. And another reminder that the 20% off everything sale at our store only lasts to the end of the month. That's today and tomorrow. That link also found in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.